Hello, I am Seamus Dunhu of EVE University, and this is episode 6 of How to Survive EVE Online. In this episode, we are going to make our way to the Career Funnel missions. Uh, so, if you haven't already, right-click Aura and start conversation. Now, something went wrong the first time I tried to film this, so I've already started the conversation with the agent, and I already clicked Accept Mission at the bottom of the window. That's why this no longer says Accept Mission. And when you accept the mission, an item called Clearance Papers should appear in your station items hangar. So you'll need to click and drag it to your ship's cargo hold. First of all, if you don't have the ship's window here, click the ship's button on your Neocom. If you don't have the items window for your station, click the items button on your Neocom. You'll need both of those open. Right click the ship and open cargo hold. That should open up your ship's cargo hold, and then you can left-click and drag the clearance papers from the station item hangar to your ship's cargo hold. This is very important in courier missions because you do not want to leave behind the item that you're supposed to be delivering. The next thing you want to do is set your autopilot, so you would right-click the station and select Set Destination. In my case, I already set the destination because it indicates the route here, and I'll explain what this graphical part means as soon as we get out into space. But let's click next on the tutorial. And let's get that out of the way. And let's click close. The destination is set. The cargo is on board. Make sure you have everything with you. You're not coming back here anytime soon. And let's click undock. And you can either click undock on your Neocom or you can click the undock button in the 3D world. We are in space. Reverse the distance on the sort so that the most distant objects are at the top. Left click the stargate highlighted yellow. When you set a destination, your autopilot will color the stargates that are on your route and hit warp. Warp drive active. And you can see other players warping off towards the stargate in the distance. Now, as Aura mentioned, there are 5,000 solar systems in known space, all connected by stargates. Not every system is connected to every other solar system, so to get to a destination far away, you may need to go through more than one stargate. So your route, when you set a route, is indicated right here on the left side of your screen. We have to go through three solar systems, so there are three symbols. Two squares and a plus sign. The plus sign indicates uh, that it's a waypoint, and the squares indicate that they are not waypoints, they're just solar systems that are in our way. Let's jump through the Stargate. Now the color of the symbols is very important because it represents what is called the security level of the system. Uh, let's left click the next yellow Stargate and click Warp. warp drive active. So the security level of the system indicates how safe the system is, generally speaking. We are in a 0.9 system. Anything that's 0.5 and higher is high security space. If other players shoot at you unprovoked in high security space, the Concord police will show up and blast them to smithereens. This may not necessarily happen fast enough to save your ship, but the attackers will be destroyed. Thus, most players will generally leave you alone unless they have reason to believe that you're carrying very valuable cargo that's worth stealing. The idea is that some players will attack you and destroy your ship before Concord can show up, and then the accomplice who never fired a shot then loots everything off of everybody's wrecks. Theft is not a Concord Doken offense. Shooting somebody is. Very important difference. Right. So if your route symbols are blue, that's 0 0.9 or 1.0 security. Green is 0 0.7, I'm sorry, 0 0.6 through 0 0.8.
Yellow is 0 0.5. Those are all high security systems. Orange is 0 0.4 and 0 0.3. Red is 0 0.2 and below. Low and null security, you can be shot at by other players without Concord intervention. You don't want to go to low or null security space, at least not this early on in your playing career. We are now in the destination system. So you are going to left click the station and click dock. Warp drive active. By the way, if you're on a courier mission and you happen to arrive in a solar system with more than one station and you forget which station you're supposed to go to, you can right click empty space, go to agent missions, the name of the mission, objective drop off, and select dock. You don't see the dock option here right now because I'm already in warp so I can't give a dock command until I drop out of warp first. But if I were just sitting still, the dock option would be here. So don't worry if you ever wind up in a system with more than one station. If you've got an active mission that relates to that station, you can always figure it out. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Now that we are in station, right-click Aura, and start conversation, and complete the mission. Everything here is green check marks, so we've done everything we needed to do. Well done. You've made it to the system. I've relayed more information about the courses available to your Neocom. Each course is designed to let you try out various activities without any long-term commitment. You are free to take these courses in any order, so start with whatever interests you most. Alright, and if you click next on the tutorial window, it should bring up the career advancement window. And if you ever need to get the career advancement window out of the way, you can always bring it up again by going to the help button, the support tab, and show career agents. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to get started on the industry chain. Uh, let's see, how much money do we have right now? Not much, okay. Uh, step three of the industry chain is going to require you to have the industry skill book, which the game is not kind enough to provide for you, and you do not have the money to buy right now. All right, we're not going to worry about that right at this moment. In the next episode, we will get started on the industry chain. In the meantime, thank you for watching.